Hello viewers, I am Kirti Bhave. Welcome to the session on Corrosion Engineering and Design. After going through this video, you will be able to understand the importance of design to prevent corrosion and apply corrosion control methods into the design process. Do you think the design of a structure or a machine affects corrosion? Just give it a thought. Systems are designed to meet performance goals where strength, weight, thermal and electrical requirements are primary technical considerations. Important attribute like corrosion is often overlooked. Many problems are discovered only after the system has been put into service. Correcting unanticipated corrosion problems during operational phase of an asset's life cycle can be very costly. In some cases, it may be impossible to restore a system to its original state without replacing the problematic component or structure. Therefore, it is important that corrosion is taken into account right at the time of designing. Yes, if designing is so important, then what should be incorporated in your design so that it combats corrosion effectively? Let us see that. So that corrosion is under control, we have to keep in mind that there is a right selection of metal. Or we have to consider alloying of metals and the design of the structure needs to be proper. Let us begin with the selection of the metal. So that corrosion is under control, it is important to select metals which do not corrode. Also, using metals with extremely high purity will give corrosion resistance. But this has its own limitations. Pure metals may not necessarily have the required mechanical properties. And therefore, if a single metal does not suffice our requirement, we alloy metals. That is, the metals are suitably alloyed to change their corrosion behavior. For maximum corrosion resistance, alloy should be homogeneous Else, galvanic cells will be formed and internal corrosion shall begin. Selection of the right metal or alloy is the most cost-effective way to prevent corrosion. Again, so that corrosion is under control, we have to design the machine or the structure that is proper design. What do we mean by proper design? As far as possible, a single metal should be used in the structure. Direct contact of two dissimilar metals should be avoided to prevent galvanic corrosion. When dissimilar metals have to be used, then metals closest to each other in the activity series should be used. When dissimilar metals are in contact, 
anodic metal should not be coated. Avoid having a small anode near a large cathode. And stainless steel should not be used to handle deoxygenated solutions as it relies upon oxygen to maintain passivation. All these factors have to be considered at the time of designing and selection of materials. Proper design also includes that structures should have rounded edges rather than acute edges as shown in the figure. The bends should be smooth and not acute. Structures should be should avoid the presence of crevices between adjacent parts. If at all crevices are unavoidable, they should be filled with impervious material. Design should allow for cleaning the critical parts as dust and dirt will cause localized corrosion. All this should be done so that oxygen concentration cells are not formed and corrosion is avoided and kept under control. Design should allow drainage for cleaning the critical parts as accumulated liquids will cause localized corrosion as shown in the figure. Proper insulating coating should be used to prevent corrosion. If coating is done, it should be done with proper specifications. Now, let us revise the concept again. Design is one of the most important aspects to control corrosion. It has to be considered at the time of conception of idea. To control corrosion, following aspects should be considered. Selection of metal or alloy is very important. Single metal should be preferred. If not, then two metals closest to each other in the activity series should be used. Design should have smooth curves, edges, no crevices and provision for cleaning and drainage. I hope you have understood the importance of right design in controlling corrosion. Wish you happy learning. Thank you.